What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Mickey Quill, and it's the much-awaited return of Grab5 videos. If you're reasonably new to my channel, you might not have seen these videos before. Grab5 is a challenge that I created a few years ago where I grab five things from my stash and I must use them on a layout or a page or an art journal spread. I have to use them somehow. It's a great way to challenge yourself to use your stash and also kind of combine we always get excited with new products but sometimes we forget about the older products so it's nice to combine both of those together in the one grab five challenge so i've got this little photo of beans today and i'm using a few different bits and pieces i've got some washi tape that i'm flinging around like there's no tomorrow i've got some uh pink die cuts so or they're die metal dies and i'm going to cut them out i've got some feather stamps i've got some felicity jane rubber uh, embellishments and some chipboard as well so i'm going to use all of these today on the same layout so play along at home grab five of your own things if you want you can grab five similar to mine so you could grab a metal die washi tape some sort of stamp some sort of rubber embellishment and some sort of chipboard um, but it's a great way to kind of sometimes step outside your comfort zone or give yourself a little bit of focus if you're finding yourself uh, losing your mojo or a little bit overwhelmed by your stash so here you can see my much loved uh, Eaton Big Shot machine. You can see the handle there. The bunnies found when we lived at our old house. My Big Shot was stored on a uh, the bottom shelf of my cube uh, storage unit. And it was one of Frida's favorite places to sit. And she liked to eat the rubber, which isn't very good for her. But she's still kicking and my Big Shot is as well. So here I'm using these beautiful feather stamps that I got um, from Marnie, a subscriber. So hi, Marnie. And I'm using some Dilutions Black ink just to stamp those out. And my Jane Davenport watercolors. I have sped this bit up quite a lot because I'm just slapping on some watercolor here. Uh, the Jane Davenport watercolors are great if you are a beginner and you really want a really uh, saturated watercolor I really like in using them especially this palette I'm I'm sure they have names but this is the turquoise blue tin uh, it probably has a proper name but it's got a nice range of bright colors and I'm putting water on first so that my colors blend together I'm using as always my basil marshmallow cardstock I haven't primed it with gesso or anything uh, but it does take on the watercolor quite nicely so I wasn't quite sure what I was doing with them at this point. I will admit, uh, I just knew that I wanted to make them multicolored. And the reason why I'm doing that is because Archie is holding a blanket in this photo uh, that was actually made by my aunt and it's rainbow colors. So I knew that I wanted to, to bring in the, a touch of rainbow for this photo. Uh, and here he is asleep in a car seat many, many months ago. He has much more hair than that now and uh, often doesn't sleep that peacefully in the car seat unfortunately I'm using some white tissue paper just to mat my photo as well as some exercise book paper some graph paper and I'm just sticking those down with some double-sided tape I get a lot of questions about my tape I just get the cheap one from spotlight I don't know what brand it is I'm sorry but you get three rolls for about 10 or 12 dollars i think uh, and it seems to stick quite well i grabbed some of my patreon printables actually for august and this was one of the art prints i usually have one art print a month uh, as well as a few pages of project life cards and collage sheets and uh, printables all sorts of bits and pieces uh, but in august i couldn't decide so i had two art prints and I printed this one uh, as an extra copy and decided to use it as like scrapbooking paper instead of keeping it as a clean, prestigious art print that I wasn't going to cut. I really like cutting up um, art prints and things that you're not meant to cut up and using them in my scrapbooking. So I'm just using that like a layering piece and it kind of brings in the blue color because I realized that I had used a dark blue on the watercolor of the feathers, but I hadn't used the, uh, the you can't actually see the blue in his blanket. 
So I'm just sticking that down. Um, and also, if you ever want any information on my Patreon, the uh, link is always in the description below. Uh, the August printables are only, I've changed my system now. So there's only two months worth of printables up at a time. Uh, and then I delete previous months once there's a new month up so the August printables will only be up for August and September and then I'll delete them in October so here I'm just using a few extra little bits and pieces just to stick them on the bottom there and I've I think I forgot about my tape runner that's just right there to the right of me because I seem to be using double-sided sticky tape a lot in this layout I think I might have been distracted possibly watching Real Housewives of New York City. I've been on a bit of a binge lately uh, of that show. And I think, I, there we go. I've just realized and now I'm just moving it out of the way. I, um, I often get like that when I'm scrapbooking or exciting part, probably my hands are quite still. Uh, I get like that and I get distracted and forget about really useful tools that are right there next to me. It's strange or I lose my adhesive. That's what I do a lot as well. So I'm just using some Scotch, uh, I think it's called quick dry glue, and I'm just sticking those down. I decided to use glue because A, I'm a little bit of a lazy scrapbooker and I didn't really want to tape those feathers because they are a bit of a an awkward shape. They're not, not too awkward, but they're harder to stick down than say a rectangle shape is. And um, B, it's really just quick and easy to grab the glue and I can also still slip things under the edge if I want to uh, overlap or I still think underlap should be a word. I'm going to make it a word. Uh, if I want to overlap or underlap different things uh, around those feathers. So then I'm sticking down these gold ones and I'm trying to start with the bigger feathers first because that's the way how I, I kind of jump into any crafty project. If there's a bigger thing that needs to be stuck down, I do that first because otherwise if you start sticking down the little ones and then you run out of space, then you can get into a bit of frustration trying to fit the bigger parts on. Uh, that's what I do with my traveler's notebook spreads over on my Let's Get Inky YouTube channel. I always start with the bigger pieces first. So then I've got these rubber embellishments and there was a phrase here that was just perfect and it says, let's snuggle. And I just thought that was so cute because uh, I'm sure fellow parents will understand. It's very, oh, excuse me, Mr. Phone, could you please be quiet? Uh, it's very hard to resist taking millions of sleeping photos of your baby because they're just so peaceful and still. And it it's, gets difficult to take photos as uh, they get a little bit more mobile. And so sleeping photos, you're always guaranteed to have a, a clear image and they, they just look so sweet. So um, I thought I'd use that let's snuggle because he looks so sleepy and cuddly. I also wanted to use that moments and I didn't know what type of moments I was having, but I didn't know if it was going to be little moments or sweet moments. Uh, I settled on dreamy moments because I was running low on, mm, was it teas? I think I didn't have enough teas and I couldn't do little. Uh, I'm on my last legs of some of letters from these my favorite favorite thicker of all time uh, it's the gold glitter happy font and I need to track down some more because I don't know what I'm going to do well I've already started running out of letters like I said but I don't know what I'm going to do when I really really start running out of letters it's going to be it's going to be tough so I'm just sticking down that rubber embellishment with some wet glue to be honest, I don't know if that's the best way to stick them down. Um, I have tried with double-sided tape before and not had great results. The, the rubber just seems to not take the tape as well. So I thought I would try this time with wet glue. So far, it's been a couple of weeks and it's still stuck there. So I'm going to go with success for that adhesive. Uh, if you're using rubber embellishments and you also have trouble, try some wet glue instead of double-sided tape. 
I'm using these chipboard pieces and I am adding some extra wet glue to these just because I'm sticking them on top of that gold glitter cardstock and uh, which by the way I just get from uh, Spotlight I don't know what brand it is sorry uh, but uh, it's quite gritty and so the adhesive that's already on the chipboard probably wouldn't stick that well it was at this point that I realized I'd include washi in my Grab 5 challenge and I hadn't really allowed much space for washi. So we're cheating a little bit and, and only using a tiny little little bit of washi. But that's okay. It's, it's still on there. There's no rules to the Grab 5 challenge except you grab five things. So if you use a lot, that's okay. If you only use a little bit, that's okay as well using a few different stars these ones are just uh ones i found on ebay ages ago i don't think they're on there anymore and then these bluish ones are from spotlight as well not sponsored by spotlight it's just where i seem to buy a lot of my craft supplies because here in australia we don't have um a lot of craft store choices uh, our big chains of craft stores are spotlight and Lingcraft, and spotlight definitely has a bigger better range of scrapbooking paper craft supplies than Lingcraft. Lingcraft I find is a little bit more fabricy uh, focused I guess. Spotlight does have a heap of fabric as well but I think with Lingcraft it makes up a larger proportion of their stores and I live closer to Spotlight so that's where I usually go. Adding Diddly Border with my Pilot G2 pen and I wanted to do a little bit of journaling and I was trying to figure out where to put it. Do I put it here? Do I put it there? Do I put it here? And then I decided to put it up the side because I thought that if I put it in that center part, it's not quite center and it would really annoy me. And if I've put it to the right, I think the left side would look too uh, empty and too unbalanced because all of those little chipboard embellishments are on the right hand side anyway. So I did some sideways journaling, which I've been really enjoying lately. Uh, if you are a Patreon peep, you would have seen that video I did not too long ago where I did sideways journaling on the current faves layout. Um, and I've just, I've just been really enjoying it. I'm adding a few little splatters here and I've gone out of focus, but it does come back in in a moment. And I'm just using the the watercolor paint uh, to add some splatters a because I wasn't quite sure where the rest of my Heidi shines were that had uh, pinks and blues and B if I use the watercolors I can be guaranteed that they match the colors that I've already used in the feathers really well so I just worked out easier for everyone I am going to go with a paper towel and just soak up some of them though because the color was a little bit too dark and of course we're going for dreamy moments so I wanted it to be a little bit soft after. Here I am cheating and doing some forced splatters uh, against their will but that's okay because it it's my layout and I can force the splatters to go where I want even if they don't want to go there. So time for some hearty shine. Shake, 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 shake your hearty shine, shake your hearty shine. Oh voice went a little bit croaky at that last little shine. Uh, I'm adding a little bit of gold just because A it's gold and B I thought it went in quite well with the feathers and also the dreamy title um, but this layout's all done so I have filmed another grab five there is a project life grab five probably coming out next month I think if I plan this correctly uh, but let me know if you'd like to see a grab five maybe every month or two uh, and I will definitely do that for you guys thanks for watching today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it helps my channel out a lot and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!